Hello YouTube, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're talking about the Word 2019 exam, and we're looking at the domain called Managed Document Collaboration. Overall, this accommodates for 5 to 10% of the overall exam. I'll go ahead and throw up a graphic so you can look at the domain with me. In this video, we're going to cover Add and Manage Comments and Manage Change Tracking. Let's go ahead and jump into Word. We're talking about the Word 2019 exam, and we're looking at the sixth domain called Manage Document Collaboration. Overall, this accommodates for 5 to 10% of the overall exam. We're looking at the first subdomain, Add and Manage Comments. This subdomain says that we should be able to add comments. We're going to go to the Review tab, and we're in the Comments section. I currently have my cursor at the end of the first chapter heading, and watch what happens when I click New Comment. If I scroll up, it highlighted that last word, and over here on the right, it allows me to add a comment. Now, I'm going to undo that by hitting Control Z on my keyboard, because this time I'm going to select the entire heading. This time I'm going to right click on it, because I tend to want to right click on things, and I can add new comment. Now, watch what happens this time when I select new comment. Notice that the entire line was selected. On the certification exam, you should note this. Read the task question carefully to see if you need to mark an entire string of text or just a word. For this, we're going to go ahead and add a comment. Now that we've typed it, we'll go ahead and click out of it. And now that comment's there. And if I hover over it, I can see that comment. The next thing that we're told that we should be able to do is review and reply to comments. Now when I added that comment, this show comments opened up. Notice that that pane disappears. And in my document, I have a little speech bubble telling me that there's a comment attached to this. Let's go ahead and open that back up. If I hover over this comment, you can see that I have the option to reply to this. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll select reply and notice that I have the option of adding my own comment to this. Again, I'm going to click out of it and notice that now I've added a reply to the original comment. You should note that had there been multiple comments in this document that you could easily go through them by clicking the previous and next. I only have this section here of comments, so you're not seeing any changes, but this previous and next will help you navigate through the comments in the document. The next thing that we're told that we should be able to do is to resolve comments. With this selected, I can click this resolve button, but I also have the option of right clicking on it to resolve the comment as well. We'll go ahead and do that and notice that it's grayed out. The final thing that we're told that we should be able to do is to delete a comment. If I right click on this comment, I have the option to delete this comment. I also have that option on the review tab in the comments group, just clicking the drop down for delete. And I have the option to delete this comment. I can delete all comments shown. And then ultimately I can delete all comments in this document. We'll go ahead and click delete. We're looking at the subdomain manage change tracking. The first thing that this tells us that we should be able to do is to track changes. We're going to go to the review tab at the top. We're in the tracking group and I'm going to click the track changes drop down to select track changes. Notice that you can also use the keyboard shortcut control shift E to activate this. And now that I've done that, Word is now tracking the changes done to this document. For example, if I select this text and I hit the delete key on my keyboard, notice I get a little red line showing me that there were changes done. And notice that my text disappeared as well. Depending on my settings in the tracking group, the revisions that are made to this document will appear differently. For example, if I click this simple markup drop down and click all markup, notice that the sentence came back, but this time it's highlighted red. If I click no markup, I don't see the red line. I don't see that sentence that was deleted. And then I can click original which is what the document looked like before we started making changes. I am going to show all markup for this just so you can kind of see what's going on. This subdomain says that we should be able to lock and unlock change tracking. So we applied the track changing, but let's say I'm passing this document around and I don't want another coworker to turn the tracking off as they're making their revisions or suggestions for this document. If I click the track changes drop down, I can select lock tracking. And that brings up a window where I can put in a password. For this, we're going to go ahead and put in Peter. And 
I'm putting in a capital P for Peter. If you need to lock the tracking on the exam, make sure that you capitalize words that are capitalized or you're going to get it wrong. We'll click OK. And now, in order to turn the tracking off, somebody's going to have to put that password in to unlock it. So if I click this again, I have to put in the password to be able to toggle that on and off. Let's go in and make some quick changes to this document so you can see more edits. Now that we've added some things to this document, let's go back to the review tab because now we have to decide if we want to accept or reject the changes that were made. But before we look at the changes group, I want to click the show markup from because I want to show you that you can select specific people. Now, I'm the only one that's made changes to this document, so I'm the only one listed. But if you were passing this around, you could toggle on and off other employees who had looked at this document and made changes. Let's click the accept drop down because I want you to see a few things. We can accept a change and move on to the next. We can accept only the change. We can accept all changes and we can accept all changes and stop tracking. And if I had more than what is just on the screen, I could have the option of accept all changes shown. For this, let's go in and accept the first one, accept and move to the next. And it accepted that change to move me on to the next. I also have the option of navigating through the different changes by just clicking through them. And notice that when I do that, it highlights. So we were on the bold change and accepted that. And now as I toggle through the next, it's highlighting this deletion and the addition of this picture. Let's go back to the Peter Pan image because that really doesn't make a lot of sense. We're going to go ahead and reject this change and it removed that from the document. Let's go back to the previous one because we don't want to remove that text. That's important. And this time we'll click reject all changes and stop tracking. And notice the track changes was removed and this change was not accepted.